so quite a lot of people, myself included, were expecting the arrival of the 40k balance data slate today. It seems that it might have been pushed back, most likely to next week, so let's talk about what we know about the release, and why so many people are just itching for this to be released, so we can start to do a bit more future planning for 40k armies. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where I must admit it's been a bit of a disappointing day for me. All ready to go and take a look at what we have coming and try and make a whole bunch of videos on armies changes from 40k's next big rule update. It seems though that wasn't to be, and Games Workshop has released no balanced data slate today, and have given us a few cryptic hints as to when the next one will come, but not really committed to any firm date just yet. It seems very likely it'll be kind of soon, probably within the week from now. And the sooner the better in my opinion, though obviously I'd rather them take time to get it right, rather than rush something out and get things completely wrong for the next few months. As ever, with these 40k balance updates, there's kind of huge hype around them, and a lot of people are looking forward to when the next one comes. Points for the entire game can go up and down, they really did a spectacular amount of those with the last one, changing the points cost for around about a third of the units in the game, and genuinely doing a fairly good job in my opinion to change things around from the absolute mess that was 10th edition at launch, to having a game where most armies can compete against most others, though obviously there's always improvements to be made. Otherwise, some factions might gain or lose rules or have slightly broken things toned down that Games Workshop don't think is a good fix with points, and fairly often quite a few core rules for the game get changed, things like stratagem updates in the last one, or have previously had things like Armour of Contempt, Flyer rules, and the whole Arcs of Omen thing in 9th. These changes really do mean quite a lot to players. The armies that are really struggling and just aren't having much of a good time of it in 10th, say Drukhari and Custodes at the moment, perhaps to name the main two. They're really looking forward to having a bunch more of their units become playable and interesting once more. And just for other factions as well, it kind of takes your wind out of your sails for theory crafting or deciding what sort of army you might be building next if Games Workshop could literally make some units either great or terrible at the flip of a coin. Although obviously in 40k the main attraction is cool models, I think it's kind of nice to know that you're actually building towards an army that will be somewhat functional. I have some guarantee that Games Workshop isn't going to turn your shiny and dangerous unit into a paperweight for the next few months by making its rules underpowered. It's kind of a big issue for the Dark Angels players as well, given that they're in the weird situation where they have their codex out, but they don't have the updated Munitor and Field Manual points yet. They'll be waiting on that to see the final cost for their new units, and that does seem like it's likely to drop with the data slate unless they decide to frustrate the Unforgiven players yet further and wait until the actual full individual release of the book. It definitely is a possibility. For me, I'm certainly looking forward to sifting through all the changes that they make, particularly if any new units or armies get a new lease of life. The reason people were expecting the balanced data slate to turn up today was that Games Workshop had previously told us that the update was coming at the end of January, and balanced data slates have historically tended to drop on a Thursday, They've been kind of consistent with that over the past six of them. And given that today is the last Thursday in January, that kind of makes sense that it should be here, as opposed to if they delayed till next Thursday, that would be the start of February. I think they chose the end of January timeline so as not to do what they did last year and just drop a big rules update just before the biggest 40k tournament around, the Las Vegas Open. That does seem kind of sensible, as it's weird to have a flagship tournament like that, playing with rules that are actually perhaps a couple of weeks out of date by the time that the models and the dice hit the table. Just for interest, while I was waiting around to see whether it had come out today, I thought I'd take a look at the release dates for all the rest of the balanced data slates so far, going back to 2021. It seems that the first two were on different days. The first one dropped on a Tuesday, the next one dropped on a Friday, but since then, every single update that they've called a balanced data slate has indeed been a Thursday. The only sort of halfway exception was the initial points and rules updates for Warhammer 40k 10th edition, where they nerfed a few Eldar things plus some indirect fire, but that was kind of more an emergency patch to try and make the game just a little bit more functional, and they didn't actually build that as a balanced data slate. Basically at this point, we know that they've either chosen to not release the data slate in January as they've previously said, or have chosen to release it on a different day besides Thursday, so are breaking their typical pattern for rules releases there. I genuinely think that people wouldn't get themselves so hyped up about this if Games Workshop just communicated a little bit clearer with us. The January expectations date was set a fair while ago. I don't think people would really be all that disappointed if they just confirmed that it was going to be coming a different week, so they don't just have us checking Warhammer community posts for the entire day. A simple tweet or banner announcement on their community website would be enough. 
As a result, though, for the entire day, for each of their articles they've published, each one of them seems to have been overrun with comments saying, when's the balanced data slate coming Games Workshop? Which maybe seems a little bit unnecessary on all of their things, but kind of shows what the community is focused on. And I'm sure they wouldn't get that many messages if they just officially said that, yes, it's not coming this week, guys. Hold on till next week. The only communication that I've seen from Games Workshop is their official Warhammer Facebook page saying, as soon as we hear anything, we'll let you know. Keep an eye on Warhammer community. That does seem to be about their stock answer for just about any question that they don't want to answer yet. And not really the most helpful as it doesn't give a time frame. When that was being said, it still wouldn't be impossible against that logic to say it could still be later in the day. Though it does make it less likely. Otherwise, there was just a small hint from the Meta Watch for Age of Sigma today that was published focusing on the Las Vegas Open tournament. And with that one coming out kind of late in the day for Games Workshop, it sort of confirms that no balanced data slates were happening for the 40k game today. And they just gave us a small teaser to say that the Meta Watch for 40k will be next week and that will discuss the Las Vegas Open. In the recent past, balanced data slates have tended to drop on the same day as a Meta Watch, usually all packaged up together on a Thursday. I feel like Games Workshop tends to do that just so they can sort of control the narrative a little bit more of the release and have their game designers just maybe put a bit of designers commentary out there as to why they've made the changes that they have and what their aims and goals were with them. And I feel like it's genuinely not the worst move ever. It might save a little bit of internet vitriol showing what their ideas were for the changes and kind of humanising the game developers who are real people as well, even if sometimes people are more or less happy with the results as they come out. Another clue earlier in the day was that we often get a 40k app update often a little bit before the actual news article goes out and that was some indication that the data slate wouldn't be coming today after all. As a result if I had to guess when the thing will be coming out and my guess would now be that it'll probably be next Thursday that's be Thursday the 1st of February. Not quite squeaky into January as previously advertised, but I feel like in all honesty that's not the worst of the world. It would just be a bit better if Games Workshop actually communicated and said it was coming then, so people weren't just hyper fixated on today. For other options, I'd say that tomorrow just seems a little bit unlikely, seeing as they've confirmed the Meta Watch for next week, but they haven't necessarily said that the Meta Watch is next Thursday. So it could easily be Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday if they fancied. I feel like the only reason that it would be on those days were would just be to avoid looking like they've said one thing and done another by saying it was coming January and then releasing February. Though in all honesty it probably won't matter too much to most people whether it happens to come Tuesday or Thursday, though I'd really hope that they don't delay it longer than that. As for reasons for the delay, I've only really seen speculation. With Games Workshop we're kind of lucky to find out if things are being delayed at all, let alone why. A couple of things that I'd seen banners around the internet in a few different places were that translation issues could be holding things up, or perhaps that Games Workshop wanted to take a little bit more time to tweak things post-LVO. It is a big tournament that's quite a nice microcosm of the competitive game, even if it is just one event. I feel like perhaps the armies that could most use last-minute tweaks with that would be Necrons and Abmech, where it's kind of clear at the moment that the top builds of Necrons are some of the strongest armies in the game. I could certainly see things like Catan or Wraiths being toned down a little, even if other things in their book definitely need a buff like Necron Warriors. Otherwise, Ab makes an army that just has very little tournament data just due to having a low player base and with a codex that people haven't been particularly enthused about. Not much data must be available for them yet at all. A single week with a big event like LVO could genuinely change the stats for them a fair bit and have Games Workshop rethinking what they put in a data slate like this. In general, I think I would prefer that they delay things a week if it helps them to get things right. Though again, I think it would just be so much more helpful if they gave us an actual time frame. It'd be very easy to stop people getting excited about nothing. When all we can make judgments by are what Games Workshop have said and their patterns in the past. In any case, when it finally gets here, here are the rough things that I'd be anticipating to turn up in the balanced data slate. My guess would be that they'll choose to nerf some of the absolute strongest units in Eldari, Chaos Marines, Necrons, Black Templars and maybe Leagues of Votan. These are the armies that by the stats tend to be winning more games than most and topping tournaments more regularly than others, particularly Eldari, Chaos and Necrons right now. I'm not saying that any of these factions don't have units that could get improved as well and hopefully Games Workshop will even things out and just make them a little bit less standout while still being good. At the other end of the power spectrum I'd likely be hoping for some unique boost to the Adeptus Custodes, Drukhari and Imperial Knights, maybe some reversal of nerfs there. Perhaps some small power boost to things like Guard, Blood Angels and Death Watch, Grey Knights and Admech, 
don't feel like Abmek would probably like a rules boost, not points cut, if they don't want to get their army even more expensive. That's not an exhaustive list of armies that need help, but perhaps some of the ones that are most stand out. On top of that, I'd hope for anything in the middle and all of the above to get a bit of better internal balance as well, making the underpowered and irrelevant stuff more relevant, either with points changes or rules changes, and perhaps some rules improvements to things like the detachments for the unique space marines like Blood Angels and Space Wolves will be quite nice so they can hold their own a bit better against the Codex Space Marine detachments. Dark Angels are like some points cost, just so we know the actual final cost for things like the new Inner Circle Companions and Deathwing Knights and things, hopefully a little bit cheaper than some of them were before. And for me personally, I'd really quite like to see a core FAQ for the game of Warhammer 40k, either with an actual FAQ document or just adding a bunch more gumph to the designer's commentary. As mentioned in one of my previous videos not so very long ago, there's quite a lot of basic issues that really could do with a fix in Warhammer 40k. Some things that are debated or ambiguous, which is kind of weird just given that they've had a couple of opportunities to answer questions like that now. Otherwise, not impossible that we could see some core rules changes. There's been lots speculated as to what they might do with that. We saw a bunch of universal stratagem changes last time. Even something small like making the saves that work against mortal wounds better against devastating wounds I think would be a big improvement, as a whole bunch of those abilities seem kind of niche or kind of irrelevant now given that devastating wounds tended to be the single best source of mortal wounds in the past. I think the custodians would definitely like that ability back amongst anything else. In any case though, let me know when you expect the balanced data slate to drop and what sort of changes you'd like to see when it gets here. Look forward to hearing all your thoughts down in the comments below. Fingers crossed after it turns up, 40k will be better balanced and have more interesting stuff playable than before. Though at the moment, at least compared with the game historically, things really could be worse. Most armies are able to compete with most others, at least at some level. Though obviously there are some things that are just stand out great or stand out weak. If you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to subscribe to All Specs Tactics. I'll certainly keep up with the Games Workshop's news updates and cover the balanced data slate in full once we get it. Looks like I'll have to be on hair trigger alerts next week. Finally, if you have been enjoying all the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention that All Specs Tactics does have a Patreon page as well and you can find that linked in the video description if you'd like to help support and keep these videos coming. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with a chance to win some big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you, or you'd just like to help support, the link is down in the video description. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.